who would you choose to aspire like? Who would you want to be like in the soccer arena? Um, skinny. That's your big hero, right? <laughs> yeah, skinny. I'm a hero, man. Skinny. You also perform like fireman. <laughs> well, I mean, it's not a bad thing. You know, if, if you can be the bridge between fireman and skinny, that means you're, you're, you're out for greatness, you know? <laughs> I mean, St. Vincent really has some very powerful artists. I mean, forget the forget the legend like Beckett and Soso and, and those guys. Yeah, St. Vincent, St. Vincent, like, he have errors, right? Like, he had the Beckett errors, he had the skinny errors. But you see the middle era in St. Mm. Vincent, I think St. Vincent, I disappointed in St. Vincent middle era. You see the middle era of artists that was some of the best artists which came out in the middle era. That is the era I talking more with um Royal, Matt Skull, Meso, Wetty Beats, Keep Currency, Milo, Siku. That second era, that third era was a different era. Like mm-hmm. the man, the talent was beyond, was beyond. Okay, so why why do you think that they never really excelled to the level of you know the, the skinny and the and the fireman. That is a question I think we are at the moment. I I literally no I don't know if it's mismanagement or mismarketing. There is something I literally don't know. But that era, the only man out that era who basically like still does the music full time is Wetty Beats. But think about the whole era. Think about the, the list of names we just called. Think back about it. The whole era was greatness like literally greatness and and talking about management though um do, do you think they have like vincent and artists that they, they really um put themselves in a position to to have like proper management because i know most of them do their own management the um the thing the thing the thing would be we don't understand management the management system we do understand management and then the promoters in St. Vincent, three quarters of the promoters, not art, three quarters of the promoters in St. Vincent don't like to go the professional road. Right? Like a promoter would call me, yo, I want it for sure, where's your price? That is how the promoter them like do it. So we as Vinci artists, right? We ain't going to with money run through our management, right? And then a management take out a cut and come and give you a small thing. And that's how that's how I used to think as well. I am taking myself out the bulk. I tell you, that was that was how I used to think. Then I realized now, having a management, it make your work easier. Because as an artist, you ain't going to look for sure. That is your management job. You reach out to promoters. Promoters reach out to your management team. You are getting business done. You do proper photo shoot. Your management link up interviews. Mom, photo shoot, get video done is more to it than just than just getting book for a shoot. Having mm-hmm. a manager, having a management team, right? Is more and, to and, it. Right, and also don't forget that you you gain more respect when you when you talk to a prom- when a promoter talks to you and you tell the promoter, well, talk to my manager. You gain more respect because the promoter knows now well he can't negotiate with you and say I give fifty, and when you come on the show, give fifty. You know. The promoter kind of have more respect when you when you have a manager because you look yes. like but big, really and truly you know? that is how it's supposed to go. But right. we are sending to artists, most of the um the breakout artists, right? Like around my time, let's like say say our era, right? Which is the era we I in. Mm. Most of we don't travel a lot and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. The most we will do is do shows at home, and it's not like no big money shows and stuff like that. So having a management team, a management team look looking forward to get a pay between the time still, if you're understanding me. Yes, of course. Um, of course I understand. So um, as an artist, you have to take all of these stuff into consideration. 
And, yeah, and because... then if, I, if our management invests certain amount of money in you, they're looking for make a benefit card. Nobody does invent, invest to last. Nobody. Right. I right. know nobody in this auto does invest in something to last. An investment supposed to be a return with a profit. Right. I, 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 I'm I going to echo what you said there because I used to um, bring artists up here and um, there was one time when one of the artists was supposed to collect the balance of the money as opposed to it going straight to the manager. And he was shocked to find out the amount of money the, the manager was collecting. But he said, you know what? It's all good because, because of the manager, I traveled all around the world. You know, So sometimes, like you say, it's not really about the money. Sometimes you get different exposure, different benefits. Yeah, but um, the thing, the thing, the thing, the thing. I think like most management should do business via email, right? Mm -hmm. Via email. And if you do business via email, you could just send me a copy of the email. The CC mm -hmm. me a copy of the email. Or I could get access to the email as well. So I could actually mm -hmm. like have a knowledge and understanding of what basically going on. Mm -hmm. That's that's true. That's you can also look at it that way. Yeah. Know. So yeah. that is the thing. But I think we don't understand. You see, marketing. We don't understand the marketing to a hundred percent as it. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. That's definitely that's definitely true, Vincent. You know. Yeah. Like okay. For example, right. To be honest, I can't recall ever sending my music to you all. Right. Mm -hmm. I can't recall, and I doubt my manage send my music to you all, right? right. Which you are doing something here, good which you are supposed to be at our blast list. Mm -hmm. If you understand what I mean, yeah, yeah. So it's yeah, this yeah, little absolutely. stuff which matters, which mm -hmm. count. Mm -hmm. Because like, we as an artist, I'm supposed to reach out to you guys and say, um, Whereas they are email, a Japanese new song, there's management work right. to reach out. I'm supposed to focus in the studio, get the music, get the proper quality, get the thing done, push it out. Management supposed to reach out to you guys, okay, with Japanese new music search, I'll get the music, good quality, most is radio station and stuff. You have people who just want to download the music. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. And, and, and that's what the, the, the last artist we were saying. And, you know, we always encourage people to, you know, send, send us your music, send us your music, send the Vinci music, you know, send the Vinci music through, man. Let's, let's, you know, push it because, you know, like, like, you know, Sip said, we have, we're big in Europe, we're pushing forward in Africa. And, you know, if our music really get established in Africa, like, like something, you know, you're gone. We're gone, we're gone, we're gone. We're gone, we're gone. You know? So, yeah, so so big up to all the managers who, who are working hard and tirelessly, you know, on these events. But anyway, coming back to you and uh, and your your career now. So so you've been boiling up to that big um, Soka Monarch, you know. But um, after the after winning the Soka Monarch, now what are some of the benefits that you got from it? I mean, apart um, from flying, winning yeah. winning the Soka Monarch. Really and truly, it makes life easier for me mm. in certain aspects. It makes me get more recognition by certain people in the industry and people in general, right? So I realized having a title, it comes with um, advantage and disadvantages. Mm -hmm. So like, for example, like if I reach out to a producer, a producer and say like, I walk up and read me and say like, oh, this is magical. You just show come on up and say, right here. All right, let's see. And it done. Mm -hmm. Just because I have that so come on up title. I would probably go by the bank and be like, oh, yes, magical. Oh, and like, I would get things done. Like, you come like, yeah, I started at, 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 oh, on the respect, the mm -hmm. level of respect. Right. But but I'm looking at it also that that you got a little disadvantage by, by COVID. How, how did it go down with COVID? Because you won in 2019. And then yeah, well, um, COVID. basically, you know, COVID, COVID slowed me down. COVID slowed me down, like literally slowed me down. I remember 2019 was um my breakthrough year, and then yeah, I started doing some time. shows. I started to tour. Then 2020, I dropped the um, I released the Inside Song all in January, and it started to kick up a storm. It started to create a steam. And if you realize in Simvinsu after Carnival, 
no one used to normally like release music. Different from skinny, skinny problem, problem. wetty, probably used to release music, but no one else used to release music until the following carnival year. Really and truly, I see one who come and kind of change it a bit now. The man realizing, boy, magic Japan music, magic thing getting through in January. We need to jack music too. So you come like, I come and change the game to an extent and make everybody realize that we have to step up the thing. You, you know, just, just to echo what you said there though, um, and I'm not saying that, that the, you know, certain artists followed. I, I was like, because Skinny just dropped two big tune, you know, outside of Carnival. I was like, boy, oh, Skinny dropped these two big tune outside of Carnival. You know what I mean? So it makes sense what you say there, like, um, you know, artists never really used to drop tune outside of Carnival. Like, you know, you say like Skinny always, you know, drop a tune, but. Yeah, Skinny and problem them big tune, are like dropping music. Big, big, yeah, I give them guys them credit. Sorry? I say skinny and problem them all time dropping music yeah, outside yeah. of carnival, but the, um, the new yeah. era, the new era never used to do it. And then I mm-hmm. come and I started to do it because I realized our carnival done Grenada, our carnival, carnival going right wrong. It never mm-hmm. it end for you and your country, but it never end. True, man, it's, it's good what you're doing even now there's lockdown, you're putting out your music, you know, because you put out your music, you put out your name, you know, make a statement out there, you know, like you say, Skinny and problem there. Yeah, double. well, um, remember basically, oh. yeah, I knew still, I knew I see myself as new people just want to tell me I'm a big artist, I established now and stuff like that. I didn't see it like that, I still see it as I'm a small artist. I I get some toes lately and stuff like that, but still I'm a small artist, I'm a small man, anything still. So I had I knew, I knew I basically had to release music to stay relevant throughout the time. Mm-hmm. And, and the good thing about it, man, you have age on your side, you know? So, yeah. <laughs> but every day again, all again, all like every day. <laughs> nah, man, you know, Be- Beckett's still singing or so. <laughs> yeah. Well, you, you know, my mom, I'm going 24 in a month and a half in January, I'm going 24. Nah, man, you have you have age on your side. So uh, so during COVID now, so like you say, it, it, it kind of slowed you down. But do you think you... It, it worked as as a disad, as an advantage as well because you had yes, more well, time to work. Um, COVID COVID made me realize a lot of things musically. Like it made me start to study the thing more. It made me had more time to work on songs. Songs where I think was yeah, this is it. I don't realize like you know this is not like it made me understand the music to even like a next level. And as I tell you, I was like go online and study thing and research thing and stuff like that. So it helped me a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. So when I would say, open oh, my back, and you see, you see me supposed to be like, wow, you go and enjoy it. Mm-hmm. There's let's, one thing I guarantee. Let's take in a little bit, let's take in a little bit of, of one of the songs here. And I'll get back to you. And Magical God. I'm gonna play this one again. I just have a request for it. So if you, if I'm playing this one again, it's because somebody just requested it. So <laughs> good good thing somebody's listening and need need to hear this song again. So if you think nice girl, I want to come one time. If you think nice girl, then I go come two time. If you think nice girl, then I go come three time. Four time, more time. And you're party I keep the magic of reach. In the tongue or even under the beach Before I start perform, let me make a speech And party effect with jelly like clam It have to wet like beach You want me come inside the thing Get a mad anything it, it seemed like you have you have age and future among yourself And it seemed like you do a lot of research for your um for your music How much you can give to other advice you can give to other artists doing research because research do really help you to develop your craft and also give you ideas for, for different songs. So how, how much you think benefit, how much benefit you think you gain from doing all this research before you go into a song? Well, um, doing research, it helped me a lot. It gave me a wider understanding towards the music. Like, okay, we're looking forward to, sometimes when I say I'm doing research, the things where I research, I probably might go on YouTube and listen to like four or five Raga Soka songs and realize how it's structured how how them go about the melody, the cards, the chorus, compare them to the comparison to each other, see the difference. 
get points and stuff like that. So a research is not all the time just words and writing like how to do this and stuff like that. It's a whole process where you teach yourself and understanding how it works, how they go about doing stuff. That's one of the main important about research. You must understand how it is done when you're doing a research. That is my goal when I go into a research. Yeah, because it also it also had help you to add professionalism to your uh, to your art. And that, that's one of the things sometimes we, we miss a little bit as Caribbean people because sometimes we take things for granted and we forget about the professionalism of the art form. And once you get professionalism into your art form, it, it helps you a lot. It makes it a lot easier for you. Do you see that as one way that making things easy for you to uh, produce? Yeah, well, um, I, think, I think the professionalism is something which I add up from a very early stage. A very early stage, like going into soccer monarch and thing, I was still, I was still, I would say, basic minded, right? Like just the basic. But after that, I understanding I'm being a bit more advanced towards the music mentally and the business side of the music, which we tend to don't understand to an extent. So the understanding and the knowledge you now it helped me a lot. And also traveling and doing shows in other country helped me a lot. And Linking up with a lot more artists and stuff like that even helped me a lot. So there's one thing I have to say. I think is a A plus for me, for me in general. And what good advice you have for like young artists who are trying to um, craft this skill? One of the most important advice I could give a young artist, I could give to a, a young artist is do quality work. Because, because sometimes we, uh, we put songs out there that can help us in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. But when it comes to international work, we have to put a little bit more effort. To... Yes, well, that is the thing. Like, um, the, song, the song you was just playing me, right? The song was um, Mixed and Master by Parry Jack, right? I never know the great Parry. I believe you must know him since he's a music person. But the great engineer Parry who makes him for Marshall, Skinny, Bungie, all of the big, all of the greats. So, me reaching out to Parry, the price going to be a bit steep, yes, but by the end of the day, I know, again, the quality, which is one of the most important things, the quality. So when, when I send something to you, you can't say, boy, the quality ain't good, and that, that's one of the most important thing, quality, you can't go against quality. Yeah, because a lot of people don't really realize that you can have the best song, but if it's not properly done, properly mixed, with your vocals and everything in it, it, it send it send that quality down. And once that quality goes down, no way you can regain it again. So as you say, the most important thing that young artists must understand is that they must put out quality work. Yes, the music quality must be stuff. mixed properly. That is it. You see, that is one of the most things. And that was that was my downfall in the past. I never used to do quality work. That was one of my downfall. I used to mix and master my own stuff. And I never really understand it, as I tell you, to the fullest. So it come like, sometimes when I play my thing and I play somebody else thing, somebody else thing, song heavy and full, and my thing just song, song in light and noisy. And, 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 and being a, a, a person on a technical field, it also can help you to understand the professionalism, the thing, and even the mix. Because even, yeah, even... I think I think the um, the technical field helped me a lot in terms of like teaching me about frequency and stuff like this. These things like helped me a lot. I made me realize music to a different extent. I mean, start as I tell you, I started to do research. I started to compare music, compare my mix to other people's mixes, and seeing well, how may mix song like one, and then he mix song like ten. Like how I started to go on YouTube and see stuff like this because YouTube is a university, you know, it's a mm -hmm. university for you. That way name, YouTube, a university for you and stuff like that. So it helped me a lot. So when I get a quality, because if I send something to you, it could be good, but the quality is trash. You ain't going to want to play it. Yeah, because that's, that's, that's the first thing I look for when I, uh, when people send me music, it's not, not so much the lyrics and the beat, but I need a quality output because sometimes, because I'm on the internet, Sometimes when I play it, it doesn't give you the same quality like if it's on an amplification. 
Because right. the, inter the internet take it through a different amplification. Because even when I setting up my instrument, the when I if I do an amplification on it, and I then I put it through the internet, it's a different quality. So yeah, it's not only really just quality. The yes, it, the quality it, it does. So if you have a high quality and it jump to seventy five percent, you know you're good. But if you have a quality with really the thirty percent, then it jump. You're the extra man. Yeah, because even then here, I um, I I I operate the radio station at one twenty kilobytes. Right. Now, if you if you send me a a, a music that basically say ninety six kilobytes, and I gonna it, it also gonna go down. Right, and it went so bad. It went so bad for the listeners. Yeah, so I just I just make sure tell people make sure when you when you go at least one twenty eight kilobyte is good for you. So sometimes people ask me X Y Z. So I say make sure that. When you go, 128 is CD quality, and it's it's gonna drop a bit, but it won't drop that much. So we we all need to understand that as well too. And I'm glad that you really bring in that out because some people want to know sometimes, hey, I send you a song but you don't play it. That's sometimes the reason why I can't play it. The quality is not good. Yeah, we are matching it up against song real different. But right? you must maintain that same quality, and quality is very important. Yes, it's one of the most important things in anything you do. Not only in music, in anything you do, quality is the most important thing. If you're building a house and you build a quality house, you're good. Yeah, and, and that's what some people don't, sometimes don't understand. So I'm, I'm glad you really bring in these points because sometimes this is what I really like doing in the interviews. It's that bring things out so people can understand. Because the more we talk about things and people understand it, the more we get a better result because sometimes I bring artists, I bring people here, I talk to them, and they, they're not really into what the quality of the other side of the music is, but we need to be rounded. Yes, um, my thing, my thing is to be progressive in music going forward, right? And the only how I could do that is by looking at the people who I see they're above me because. You have to be true to yourself when you're doing music. That one the main thing. You have to be true to yourself and know some people just above your level. Right? You have to be real with yourself. That one the, that one the next thing. So when you say you have someone above your level, you want to reach on a level. So you have to like study them a bit like, okay, how they reach they, how they do this, how they do that, and stuff like that in order to reach on those levels as well. But people do like, oh, me and following nobody, they start doing my own thing. Yes. Nobody tell you know, but sometimes you just need to just learn the right way from somebody who don't experience it already, who got the knowledge. Outside your big song, um, bloody bloody crazy. Which other song do you um people request from you or talk about when you, you know, are, when you have enough you know, of songs, you know, a lot of my songs people talk about people talk about the inside song. People talk about the problem. And he tell me touch road, eh, eh, it's problem. I remember problem child come and remix one now. So you should know. Um thing. I just released a song about a week ago, a week and a half ago. I leave we alone. Like people just talk about my music. Like a lot of people just say, like, which song you think is your best song? What song you this? What song you that? And everybody go have their own opinion and stuff like that. So I know I did the right part. Yeah, so one, one thing one thing before before we are I pass it back over to, to your host is that to put me on your um on your mailing list and make sure I have your songs because I have yeah, to when, uh, I have, have to do I, I, I to send me, um when I do I would have a text here to send me an email so I'm gonna add it to the mailing list. No problem, no problem. I, I pull up a lot of your songs, but I have to go hard and deep and look for them. And I um uh, as I say, once I know a Vincent artist, I always try to go and look for his music and push it. And what I what I really need from most of the artists is that when they come on, is that all I'm asking you is just send me your music. Once you send me your music, I, I can do the rest. You know? All of we, we love the place. Yeah, I, I, I won't give up, I won't give up my homeland. Prove it, prove it, prove it, prove it, defense. Move it, move it, move it, move it, move. My God, to find England coming down into the Dillon. Telling me he coming for the must he coming to chat. Going ready to let the place, ready to chop a cup. So I take it to a defense, they keep ready to the land. Going to turn him to cut his show, the girl and never balance. Why? Turn him only one, this is pure, but I'm not. When you're reaching it over, everybody. 
be a push, push. Show you with the big guns, this was my cause. This was this big for bloody hell crazy. The bloody hell man. Oh Lord, the bloody hell crazy. The bloody hell man. This is big for bloody hell crazy. The bloody hell man. And this is for bloody hell crazy. The bloody hell man. Yeah, yeah, the magician. So, so 2019, the Soka Monarch. 2020, COVID took over. 2021, you came out with the uh, problems, or you, you call it you call it a virtual thing, but but I think the street has it as yeah, problem. Okay. Problem, yeah. problem in name. Yeah. Oh, okay. Problem, and people say it's a virtual. It's a that's the same as a virtual thing, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some people call it virtual thing, some people call it problem, but it name problem, or some people call it virtual thing. Just like how some people call it bloody hell prove it. Like that's just people in general. I would just know what it mean. Which yeah, is yeah, the most in, important. Yeah, in Vinci, you can't control it. They call it whatever they think it is. Yeah, you know that, you know that. <laughs> yeah. Um, so what's for 2022? What are you what are we looking at? Well, um 2022. I think I want to approach the music a bit different, right? Like, um, I feel like in 2022, I started to do some preparation because I have music, I have music. Having music is not a problem, but releasing the right music is one of the most important things. So in 2022, I'm thinking about starting probably with some groovy, start it a little bit slower, right? But it's not just like, a typical normal Vinci Raga Soka, right? That is why I say groovy, right? Mm-hmm. Like I know with groovy, they just use more live instrument. That is why I just I just separately told them and say groovy and raga soka due to raga is more like just a computer made and groovy is more like a live instrument kind mm-hmm. of thing. So I try to go over to the live instrument feel as we speak. I try to I see the producer calling me. At the moment as well, but I try to go back to the live instrument feel and start off with some groovy and visuals and stuff like that for 2022. Cause how things look, it look like we probably might have vaccinated events for carnival and stuff like that. Might get vaccinated, so come on, you never know. True, true, true. So besides Victoria Park, what's your what's your next biggest venue or favorite venue to perform? In St. Vincent or outside? Outside of St. Vincent. Um, Toronto. Toronto. Yeah. Mm. Okay, out of all the places I went, Trinidad was a vibe, but Toronto was, the love in Toronto was different. Was it because of all, all, all the Vinci that go crazy in Toronto? Yeah, like the people them literally was insane in Toronto like yeah because Toronto I even came down off the stage we go through the crowd come back like the love was amazing in Toronto True. Toronto has a, a Vinci audience that that kind of hungry you know so yeah, so, hungry, yeah party, they kind of hungry, hungry and you know they, they, they like those vibes you know and, and yeah Toronto, so I was in Toronto mm-hmm. as and you talk that, about Toronto I'll give it just just this little thing skinny was performing in Toronto one time and um uh, some people jump up on the stage with the Vinci flag start waving. The security was trying to get them off. He can they say, no, just leave them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you have to leave them. <laughs> you can't yeah, go yeah. through. Well, when I came to Toronto, there was something like that security was around the stage, but I was, the amount of people was on stage. And I never feel scared or nothing like that. No, you know, some no, artists no. will probably be like scared, like no. unsafe, unprotected and stuff like that. I never feel how I just feel like like I did yeah. home normally. Yeah, it's just the North American vibe. I think the security would think that they're gonna they're gonna hurt you, but you know, nah, yeah. they're not into that. They just to you know, they just want to be a part. <laughs> yeah, we just want to party. We just want yeah. to have fun. Mm. So, how, how do you feel about um, collab? Do you have any in the works? Collab? Oh. Well, yeah. Um, I have three collab finish. I have a collab with. Me and Weddy Beats. Me and Weddy Beats have a collab. Me and um, an artist from Barbie that's by the name Walks. I think he did enter the, um, the Chile that's so come up in 2019. We have um, a collab. And I think I had a collab with a, um, an artist from Grenada as well. But the thing with the artist from Grenada, that collab 
was done in 2019 before before bloody hell release the collab was already together mm -hmm. yeah the collab was already together but when bloody hell job it kick up a storm so we just decide we ain't gonna try to release it post it so it will come and take over uh die out now so we're just waiting on the right moment to release this color because i say i will release it still it's not because i big and you probably as big as me no i will release it still because it's something we had before if you understand what i mean before mm -hmm, i ever escalate or anything like that so i decide i go in release it still but he saying he ain't white release unless vinti in mass he says a breakthrough for him guys as a, as a good song as well right, so right. i just say see if anything you ready to pull the plug just say i would just pull the plug mm, that, that's very important though you know like who you do collab with and who and when is when when your music are released you know so it could be the best song yeah, you know, uh, well, it's released ba basically time. timing is everything you know? timing is one of the true. most important things true true yeah so um what I was gonna ask you, um, did since you won the Sukuma, do you find any added pressure to come good um, for the next year and the next year? No, well, um, really and truly, you know, Sukuma is like sports. Sukuma is like sports. It it uh, depends on the night. It because you can have one of the biggest song going to Sukuma and lose on the night. It's like sports. It could be the biggest team going into a game and the rookie team or the underdog team come and win. So going to so come on is not like something you're supposed to like pressure yourself about. It's just something you need to go and deliver on the night. That is the most important thing about so come on. Mm -hmm. Because some would say that you set you set when you when you broke out, you set a high standard for yourself. So so, yes, there must be added. There must be a little added pressure. Um, coming yeah, in. Yeah, well, to, well, or, um, um, dropping inside on a release inside, people was like, "This is a very good song. Mm, this is a good song." But let me see we're going come with next, and then when I release, um, problem for child mm -hmm. thing, it take the place by storm, and the only thing why for child thing did slow down is like, remember when it released. The um, volcano did erupt around the same time, like two weeks after. So, like, the whole state, everybody mind was half music. Like, everybody was heading this direction, if you understand what I mean. Mm -hmm. True, true. And then after the volcano, you know, is when things start back and the song start back to play again. And it hit into people like, yeah, boy. People like, does me not say, why you never leave that song? They go outside, when outside, oh, my back, for so come on, I can wear there. And there. But me and feel pressure because, as I tell you, proper preparation prevent poor performance. Mm -hmm. So doing my research and doing my thing is just executing the plan the right way. True. And you, I must tell you, you're doing the right thing, man. You know, COVID is around. Keep yourself relevant. Keep it. Keep your name out there. You know. Yeah. What you have to put out. You know, do interviews that you have to do interviews because you don't want when the place opens up, everybody forget about oh, magical. Oh, magical, magical was two years ago, man. You know. So you do. You yeah. do the right thing. Keep on working. Who do you? Who would you choose to aspire like? Who would you want to be like in the soap arena? Um, skinny. Skinny. Yeah. That's your big hero, eh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, skinny. I'm a hero, man. Skinny. Skinny by any doubt. Skinny. But then people would say you 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 also perform like fireman. Well, and that's where like that is what people that say, but really and truly, I could only perform like me if I could only perform like fire skinny, could only perform like skinny. <laughs> well, I mean, it's not a bad thing, you know, because if no, you get, not, if you get, I yeah, if you can be the, if you can be the bridge between fireman and skinny, that means you, you, you're out for greatness, you know. Yeah, but um, <laughs> I hear the comparison a lot. Like, this is not the first time I hear it. I hear it a lot. Mm -hmm. People just say like, you is the next fireman, you is the this, you is the. That. I hear it a lot. I hear mm -hmm. it a lot. Yeah, and we thank we want to acknowledge all the people who are listening as well. You know, big up yourself, but magical that. 
you don't really want people to say you're the next. You want to be the you want to be the next magical, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. So, yeah, but obviously, you know, in this arena, it's unfortunate that it's unfortunate, unfortunate that you know they'll compare you with somebody, you know. But well, there's yeah. a thing about the art time. If you know Sim Vincent, yeah, Sim Vincent, Sim Vincent, people will bring pressure to you. You don't bring pressure to yourself. Same as people will bring pressure to you, will bring expectation to you, will bring rivalry to you, and stuff like this. Rivalry do start from artists, an artist, and an artist get away, and then they start to compete against each other. So, can no, is the fans them they say, oh, fire bad than skinny and skinny bad than fire, and, and mm. that's how it does go. The fans them is who does start the rivalries. Yeah, but we, my, we so glad or so blessed that we have you know young artists like you coming up to take over the mantle from from those guys you know so you know all i want to say is that you know keep on you know putting out music out there keep on putting out you know positive music and you know you you're a very smart young man like i, I can tell you know you you know what you want you don't just want to be in the industry for being in the in the, in the industry you just want to no, well, um, a lot of people extent. don't understand a lot of people, well, in St. Vincent, a lot of artists treat the industry like a hustle. But really and truly, the industry is a business. Mm -hmm. It's a 24-hour business. So when you understand it, it's a business. True. Doing a business, you have to have rules, regulations, standards, and all these things. When you're mm -hmm. doing a hustle, you just hustle. It's a big difference. True. And I, and I think that's that's what guys like Skinny and, and Problem they're, they're, they're examples of what you know we should be doing and following because these yeah, guys you take, you take yeah, these, skinny, skinny see the music as a business yeah these a guys brand, remember, you as a person you as a person as an artist you as a brand you as, we see it as me is magical me is not magical me is magical the brand me is a brand we mm -hmm. sell we brand we sell we sell how we sell itself that we need to understand we is a mm -hmm. brand we is a business mm -hmm. Like so far, like so far, really, I, I, we, the, some of the artists we interviewed from Saint Vincent, man, they, I think they really understand the business, the business side of it, you know, um, you know, yeah. So guys like, um, uh, skinny and problem and um, yeah, well, and, them, and they, 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 they understand. And you know, high Hans, Hans is a, Hans is a, Hans is a, a good friend to me, like a mentor and stuff like that. Hans is one man who, who, who tell me a lot of stuff as well too, like. When a boss way up, look out for this. Look out for any a song. Hands go call me, give me feedback and stuff like that. So big up hands, Jan. Big up hands. Tell hands he needs to get back to me. He we were in a conversation and and he just disappeared. But tell him he needs to get back to me. All right, All right no problem. Yeah. I will tell him. I will tell him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So so Sip, you have anything lined up or you want to jump in there? Yeah, just I just want to say, uh, you know. This this interview basically for me is is basically one of the interviews that I really enjoy. I'll tell you why. Your, your professionalism here is, is really showing in, in your music. And I would like, you know, you to really kind of bring youngsters together, put them together and say, okay, this is what you need to do. You know, anybody come to you for ideas, just give them some ideas and some um leeway how to how, how to raise it, how to raise yeah, the standard. Well, um... You know, you know, now you see this, you know, a lot of youths just does normally reach out to me for like feedback and stuff like that. But a lot of them take it the wrong way. A, a lot of them misunderstand and make it go over the head. They see it as an insult or stuff like that. So I just try, try my royal best to avoid it because I have artists in Grenada who go do a music and send me and say, we think about this, we think about the mix. And I go give them my two cents, my feedback, and they go go and make the, ne the, necessary, the necessary changes and they go come back. Yeah, some artists in Simbit will come to me and say, we think about this. I go say, well, boy, I think the melody could be a little bit stronger. I, I mix in setting right with me. The backups vocals a little bit too loud in the mix. And then they go, oh, you feel you know this and that. So the, the negative... Energies where this can really tolerate with them. We black in traffic, problem is a problem, and my team is a problem. This 
problem thing they all over Tell them once you ain't a man over Want to put them foot on a shoulder So long I ain't touch the road and drink a rum with me So I push a pig head in a shoulder I know right Cause we go like the poor chanting Fed up on the poor chanting We can't take no poor chanting No poor chanting Want to touch the road I hope by next year all the virtual things should be over. The magician, um, like I said, man, keep on, keep on making you know positive music. You know, after you're gone, you know, things would be things would be still here. And in saying that, let me just ask you, what legacy would you like to leave from a music perspective? Well, I want to leave a legacy where my music will never die. My music will live on forever. I know like how the Bam Marley's music live on forever. Mm-hmm. And stuff like that. That is the kind of legacy I will want to leave in the music industry. That's why for the new year, I tell you I have some stuff. When you guys hear this stuff, you go, you guys are gonna be like, wow. It's like wow, it's like a different, a different, a different dimension, a whole different ball game of the music. Hmm, I, I believe you, man. I believe you. Yeah. If I tell you, I promise you, I promise you, <laughs> when you hear this new music releasing from Magical Lego, and be like, okay, I see what he was saying. Well, listen, and I know Sip is going to tell you that too, right? Whenever you, you, you have anything to release or anything to, to anything you want to put out there, don't be afraid to hit us up and... and no, you know, well, remember the, um, the connection between me and you guys just just started and it's something right. which it's just start with lack it's a lack just, anytime right. you start something will be luck and it just show the key it lack right. because right. as i tell you um i ain't know who does control you guys instagram page if it's you are cp but I, time has never control the instagram this. page reach out to me i want to see the message i just reply and be like yeah let's do it go let's do it let's give me the date because i currently was out and i don't reach you i reach my hour before because i get mixed up with the time just to get this interview done, yeah, we head yeah. back out again. Yeah, so I, anyway, I must say no respect again for, for getting back so fast to me on, on, on that, you know, and for you, it was like, you know, like, I, I, let me tell the people, you just said, okay, you give me a time and I'll, and I'll be there, you know, and I, you know, no Yeah, respect. but because as I tell you, I understand but the really importance true. of it. It's very yeah. important to understand the importance of this interview. Uh, any interview do is one of the main aspects in understanding so by me understanding yeah this interview could change a lot any interview so anybody reach out to me and interview once it legit i have heard right right yeah. so anyways man it was it was a pleasure talking to you you know um big up yourself pleasure. you know let the, let people know where they can find you on social media and if anybody want to big up you know you can just uh do that now before uh sip job in but for now man yeah. Um, it, it was um it was nice having this interview with you. The question he asked was straight to the point and it was very important and interesting at the same time. And thanks to get so far down in details, right? And thanks to the encouragement, thanks to the knowledge which was obtained by me from you, because you speak something and I saying, okay, it's real thing and stuff like that. So thanks for everything. As I, as I tell you, we don't, we don't skin the surface, man. We go deep. We just, because we want to bring you out, you know. Our main intention here is to bring you out, make sure everybody know who you are. Um, in wrapping up, would you like to say, before I clean up this wrap-up, would you like to shout out some people, anybody that you want to shout out? We have some listeners in Europe, Caribbean, um, reason. You just, you just shout out who you want to shout out. It's your turn. Well, um, first of all, thanks to God for giving me the health and strength to be here. Right? Thanks to um, all the producers who work with me before. Thanks to the, those who continue working with me. Thanks to everybody around my team. Because I can't call them individual. If I call them individual, it will be all evening. But somebody could get married with you. Huh? <laughs> yeah, somebody will get, get married with you. Because call this person in my name and my name. So thanks to all the, um, the fans who keep sharing my music, who keep buying my music and support supporting me. I want to thank them. Thanks to you guys for having me here today, for giving me the opportunity to come on your platform and having this interview. This was a pleasure being here. Thanks to the people who viewing this live 
at the moment who listen to me throughout this interview. Thanks for your precious time to know a little bit more about me. I really love and appreciate the support from you guys. So that's it. Blessing to everyone. Mm-hmm. You could find me on Instagram, underscore, underscore, magical, underscore, underscore. When you go to my email and everything is in my Instagram. So once you connect with me on Instagram, you go to, you could find me on Facebook. At Instagram, uh, oh my God, sorry, my body. Go find me on Facebook at Magical, and that is it basically. How can they get your music? Uh, is well, it- um, my music is currently on all the um the music stores. You can buy it, you can stream it from from um Spotify, Apple Music, Amazon. Everything, my music. Is legit and everything, everything for the iPhone users who just want to do the streaming. They could go and add your mark. You can follow me. My music is also there. Add your mark. I have my YouTube page, Magical Music. You can subscribe to my music page. You know the music drop on YouTube as well. So yeah, Magical. It was a it was a pleasure talking to you, man. I really enjoyed this interview. And then uh, anytime you want to reach out to me at Vinci Internet Radio, if you can reach me, you can reach Molten. Same thing, you know, just don't be, don't be shy. All just, right, just, and- use, just use this platform as, as if it's yours. You know, anytime you want to drop anything, anytime you want to even just come in and say something, you know, give us a phone call. Maybe sometime if we're not here, we might just record it and play. So don't be shy, Don. Anytime you want to drop in, just drop in and just say, hey, hey right. guys, can I have some time on your radio? We make the time for you. No problem. All right. Thanks, thanks, thanks for the opportunity and stuff. I really appreciate it. Thanks, man. And Oh, uh, God bless and uh, all the best for you for the free rest of the season. And next year, hope that you get from go from strength to strength. Thanks for coming in. All right, thank you. <laughs>